Hi there, signs of cancer. This is Kim here to do your reading. Thank you for joining me. We're going to do a breakthrough spread today. I have noticed that people like this spread and it's fun. So what it does is it identifies for us what we need to have a breakthrough about. Um, it's pretty simple. There's six spots. What we need to have a breakthrough about and um, <clears throat> Well, I'll explain it. I'll explain it as we go. Okay. If you enjoy the reading, please give it a like and subscribe. I'd love to have you back. And I do have private readings available for $24. If you want one, that's in the description box below where I record a video for you and send it back to you, usually within 48 hours. But so <clears throat> your breakthrough spread has a, it's a breakthrough pyramid and the top is going to be your breakthrough so we use one card from Kim Cran's Wild Unknown Alchemy deck. And um, then I'm pulling here from 108 Oracle. We're going to pull a few decks for each spot. It's not going to take too long, okay? Emerald is wanting to pop out. I'll just put that to the side as like a, an extra message that you can look at while... I'm pulling the rest. So, Emerald, Healing, Fertility, Eternity, Reflection, Rare, Peace, Soul Restoration, Strong Relationship, Balance, Free Flowing, Love, Mature Love, Heart Chakra. Yeah, Free Flowing Love. Okay. There's that tag. <coughs> supposed to be a pyramid okay so here there's our pyramid okay and then the kipper deck and again so the first spot is what we need to have a breakthrough about here's the challenge the breakthrough card what your strength is at this time what's your outcome looking like your advice card What's on the bottom? Expectation is on the bottom. Okay. <clears throat> Emerald. Definitely heart. Okay, so that's the Kipper deck. This is a combination of the Kipper and the Norman deck. It is the Siren Song. This won't take much longer, I promise. <laughs> I promise. challenge your breakthrough and the only card that we'll take in the reversal will be the tarot card okay your outcome and your advice spot on the bottom is the crossroads card crossroads sometimes like a lover's energy <clears throat> And then we're going to get a tarot card for each spot. I always open up to your angels and your spirit guides, whether I say it in the beginning or not. <clears throat> okay, so that is what we need to have a breakthrough about your challenge your breakthrough your strength your outcome and your advice spot page of swords in the reverse on the bottom I don't think you should be listening to what a bunch of other people have to say at this time it might not be beneficial to you or something like that there's something about yeah, it might not be good for you. Okay, what do we need to have a breakthrough about? <clears throat> well, that's nice. Okay, I have cake, celebration, ceremony, party, gathering. This can, um, of course, it can represent a wedding, a birthday, award ceremony to commemorate, to remember it's about celebrating cake. 
Then you have unexpected income, which you need to have a breakthrough about in order to celebrate. Maybe some unexpected income, something increasing your um, income or your revenue. <clears throat> Change. Uh, and you have the fish on the card associated with like prosperity and moving or flowing around your obstacles easily. And interesting that we have that because then the, if this feels like the main thing that we have to focus on a breakthrough from, which is our own thoughts, our own getting in our way, uh, limited thinking of I can't do this, I'm not going to be able to do this, uh, or I shouldn't do this, I don't know how to do this, um, limiting beliefs instead of focusing on all the freedom, it's focusing more on the ways that we are bound. Um, or somehow restricted, okay? And so usually this is your own your own thoughts, usually. Uh, so what is the challenge here? Oh, okay. A breakup, perhaps? Um, Jack and, it's a Jack and Diane card. A broken heart or getting over a loss or a heartache, sorrow, uh, a funk, sadness, let down, crisis, unhappy, hurt, bitter, devastated, emotional pain. Oh, wow. And I mean, the man and the woman. Hmm. The man and the woman. Okay. Maybe it's a challenging breakup or something like that. Um, and another challenge, though, to this whole situation is movement or getting something um, going and moving in the right direction. <clears throat> It's moving in, I say right direction, but it's moving in the direction of your, of your passion. And you could be, it could, if it's not a breakup situation, it could be something where you're not moving something forward that maybe your heart or your passion is telling you to move forward. And that can cause heartbreak too in us. Okay. So it could be something like that. What's your breakthrough? Oh, wow. Wow. Everything's going to come together just perfectly. Trust me. Alchemical wedding. Everything will come together per perfectly. Um, alchemical wedding. It's taking the pieces, putting them together in a different way. And this is about, this is perfect with the cake card celebration. Um, in history, I guess you could say the alchemical wedding could be about the masculine and feminine aspects of ourselves uniting with that all of that inner work that we do and then that's the celebration of feeling whole like being very creative and whole with these parts the yin and the yang coming together um but this this card in the guidebook will literally say it's a celebration that should be your breakthrough <laughs> and it's because you decide to declare something okay because i have the declaration card it's de it's deciding to say this is what i stand up for this is the truth. I'm going to get something moving in that direction. Okay. And I have 22, the official person. So if this is uh, as part of your breakthrough, it's almost like it's, it's kind of giving me like the emperor vibes of uh, standing up, being assertive, making a decision of what, I don't know, what you declare, what your truth is. Um, it's a good card to get. And then it's well respected, highly ranked. So, uh, so it's about declaring your truth. And then the birds are the people talking, or the effort. Now, as you see on the bottom of that other deck, the page of swords reverse could be some people that have negative things to say. Um, but that's just how it always is. This is in the upright, it's your, well, you know, for sake of the reading, it is also about your efforts. I have the Three of Swords, so the Three of Swords is kind of giving me this vibe as to say um, that something was kind of painful up to the point where you got to actually declare how you feel or felt. Or So we'll, we'll clarify more on that one. What's your strength at this time? And you have a lot of power. Okay, so you have a lot of power. Um... This is about display of power, and then it's about electricity. Uh, it could tell you about an energy shift, triumph over evil, it says, opportunity to overcome. Also, the occupation, it was interesting. 
I have the occupation and the scythe and the two of cups, almost like something's getting in the way of a, a partnership, um, some kind of danger or obstacles that are thrown in the way of, of these two things. That's interesting, because that's usually, usually a warning, but it's, it's in your strength. Hmm. Okay, another one I'll have to clarify to figure out why. Because it's like there's something that's, uh, you are, ow, you are <laughs> this very powerful person. But you are also um, dealing with some energies that make it tough for you. Getting in between partnerships, love, real love partnerships, and, and your job all at the same time. I think that that could bring on stress. Okay, what's your outcome looking like? Um, I have the full moon autumn, so it could be during autumn seasons. So you could be um, here Libra, Scorpio, or Sagittarius season, um, or within the next six to nine months, it says. So it's a timing card. Distant horizons. In the distant horizons, your ship's coming in. Uh, and then I have the key, which is the solution, number 33. Solution, the information that you need. Something that, that unlocks something for you. And it, it's all about you being the magician, though. Hmm. You being the magician, you're manifesting this. <clears throat> so you're, you're the key. You embracing the, I have a lot of power and I will do kind of like what I want, what I want. That's, the, that's what I'm getting from that. <laughs> that you can do whatever you want. Kind of like no matter what naysayers say. Um, here's your advice. Yeah, here's your advice. Act unbothered and be independent from energies that are trying to influence you in any way to not believe in yourself. <clears throat> what I want when I want it. The mature man. Mature man. Part of the advice. Rider is good news. It's very similar to this Knight of Wands going in the direction of um, what you want. And then the Five of Wands, and it was upright, so it has to do with uh, those people or other energies um, either providing competition for you or they all have something kind of meh, petty to say, and they're saying just to act like this cat who's um, unbothered. <clears throat> yeah. So let's find out more about the breakthrough since I have a Three of Swords. Yeah, tell me more about the breakthrough. I don't think that knocks through very good. Here we go. <clears throat> yeah, not carrying other people's burdens for them. When you stop carrying the weight for everybody else and have a completion, it could result in some kind of tower moment for others. But that's your power, and that's why they would cause problems or want to get in the way with what you want if it doesn't agree with them. <clears throat> because of somehow of it being able to affect the, it's a tower. No more putting in all this effort where um, it's for everybody else. So it's like laying down your burdens and major change and transformation with the tower about how much you want to carry for others. And it's a completion. in the reverse. There's something about coming out of denial about what you want to start or how you want things to look for yourself. More play and um, enjoying more about what you do or what you do, enjoying what you do a little bit more. Slowly but surely, whatever this is, slowly but surely, it's turning for you. Um, this is success. 
and it's it's maybe an offer coming your way something stable something grounded something loyal so what's the scythe about the ace of pentacle whoa and the two of pentacle i think there's energies coming in between somebody that you might want to work with and um, they're saying, but the choice and decision is yours. Just know that whoever you're talking or thinking about collaborating with, laying down the groundwork, it, it comes with this Ace of Pentacles. So it's actually going to bring in more, more Pentacles for you. And and it's like these these energies that maybe want to come between what you want to start, even between you and love, maybe. It, it could be because... <clears throat> There would be a new opportunity for you and maybe something taken away from them. And it's kind of like, I'm just getting the message, like, what's well, kind of like how the scales are going to be balanced? Because there is a lot of time passed where you listened to others or cared so much about what others thought that here we have a broken heart. So there is harmonious change coming in and then new things. What to do about this five of five and ones? Yeah, um, these people are not holding a sword of truth, okay? They're not being all truthful with you, these people that want to cause problems and distractions. Um, you are to continue stepping into your Queen of Wands power and your star power. So this is like my performer card. This is the card where the stars align, wishes are granted, and, and it's um, you in the spotlight. So... There could be other people competing for some kind of position uh, where you have a spotlight or you have some type of performance power. That is not their truth and they're maybe kind of bitter about it, but it is your truth. You may, and these people might be family connections also in, within a family. So that's what I've got for you guys. Let's pull an angel number message for you too. Seven, seven. Yeah, the confidence, the bravery of the Queen of Wands, right? It's time to move on from old patterns, habits, and fears. Now is the time to walk in the direction of your biggest desire and ambition. Now is the time to be brave and bold. I am brave. Seven, seven. So walking away, what doesn't serve you? So I'm sending you so much love. Bye.